Hi, 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 hi. Welcome back to my channel. Um, how is your scholarship application going? It's been a while and I promise that I'm going to remain a bit consistent, uh, but I hope this channel is helping you with your scholarship application. Um, drop in the chat box or comment session how your scholarship application is going and let's have a chat about it. Now, it's quite hard to really come about um, master's scholarships. Well, that's not to say they are not available. Like I always say, um, if you stick to a uh, Facebook um, channel, you see a lot of graduate assistantship and master's opportunities open for you. Um, if you're on LinkedIn as well, you just search for um, Dear Young Graduate and it's the same on Facebook. But in today's scholarship, we are going to talk about a different funding known as the Irish um, um, Scholarship. So it's provided by the Government of Ireland um, Postgraduate Scholarship Program. And I'm super excited about this one because it's a fully funded scholarship and hardly do you really, really, like I said, see um, scholarship. Now, this scholarship is opening on the 2nd of September 2021, but there's quite a number of things with quite a very hectic deadline um, to them. So it will be very good if you can start the application now. That is why I'm bringing it to you. Now, um, it's been running for the past five years. I heard the success rate has been over 18 percent. Um, so the chance of going in there, it's it's quite promising. Now, what they're saying that it's a very prestigious award um, that is given to uh, for excellent research for an applicant. Uh, definitely, there will be an objective selection process using international independent expert peer review. Um, funding across all disciplines from archaeology to zoology and whatnot. Um, so I it will be awarded um, for bottom-up non-directed research with the exception of funded by our strategic um, partners. So there are a couple of pa partners that are also uh, part of this. Um, so the partners who also help in choosing the scholarship, but that doesn't have to deter you. You just have to apply if you meet the mark. Now, what do they offer? Now, like before that, let me mention the partners are Environmental Protection Agency. So, you know, if you're working within something of that area or you have a related research around that area, you can apply for it. Uh, the Department of Children, Equality, Disability, Integration and Youth. Uh, there's a Department of Foreign Affairs and the Met Aaron. So there's clickable links. You just click on them and probably have a read through whether what you want to go into falls within this range. It might not be directly the topic but it has a relation to that. Um, so they are going to offer you a stipend of 18500 a year, um, a contribution to uh, your fees, including non-EU fees. That means if you're international uh, or you're not EU, they are going to pay that up to 5750 per annum. Then they are going to have eligible direct research expenses of about 3250 per annum. Now, how to apply? Potential applicants should read the core documentation carefully to ascertain whether or not they are eligible to apply. Now, indicative versions of the applicant, supervisor, and referee forms are provided for information purposes only. All participants must create and submit their forms via an online system. Now, these are the key dates that you need to keep. Now, it's saying that the, the call is open on 2nd September. So it's a couple of two weeks away from now, if that serves me, uh, my mind serves me, right? Now, frequently asked question, you can ask any question till 14th of October. Now, the application deadline ends on the 21st of October. Now, this is the most important part that will make a lot of difference. Now, you will need a supervisor or a referee. And that comes on the 4th of November. It's, it's probably Africa after the application deadline. But this, because a lot of people are going to be contacting supervisors, this is the time to start contacting supervisors within that respective field. Now, I'll put a link in the chat box on how you can contact a supervisor, what you should do for, for yourself to catch a supervisor's attention. How should you direct your mail? It should probably, it should be like a letter of motivation and directing to the supervisor, adding your CV and probably related um, work that you've done in that area and how you can fit into the lab. This is quite a hectic process. 
So you will need to have sorted that out before that call is open. So express to the supervisor that you plan on applying for the Irish scholarship, which is opening on the 2nd of September, but you still want to, I mean, hopefully get the approval and you know that that will serve as a great deal for you. I hope you understand that. Now, the research office, which is the um, school, will have to um, endorse um, your forms. I'm sure I've not really done this process before, but it's just my idea. Um, so that's something to know. It's just my idea around it based on a lot of applications I've had to do. So um, the research office will have to endorse it on the 18th of November. Now you will get your um, outcome next year, God willing. Um, March 2022, and you will start, and your award date is 1st September 2022. So this is a year process. So I'm presenting this to you so that you can start applying and looking for it now because it's worth the amount that you're going for. Now they've put um, inquiries here, the research office, for any queries if you have to. Now, to be able to, I mean, apply, apply for it. So I got this link actually from our Dear Young Graduate page. So I posted um, the link to the scholarship here and stated uh, scholarship link. So how to apply here, if you click it and scholarship link here, um, how to, this is the scholarship link and this is how to apply so i'm going to still put in the chat box uh, so that you can access all of them so you will need to create um, um login details before the scholarship is open definitely so you can create them now or you can wait till uh, probably the scholarship is open but if if i was you i'll just clear the system off because you can always have your login details so write your login details down in your notepad or whatsoever so if you come you don't have to um, obviously uh, redo this process again so it takes you to the Irish um, Research Council and you state that you're obviously an applicant then you can input in your details now what it's saying is that this is the first step of the application process after you've completed and submitted this, this form you will receive an email with a username and password which will enable you to access your Irish Research Council profile and start your application if you if you've previously registered with this system then there's no need to do that so this is me I've had to um, fill out the details and this is what you see right after filling out the details this is how the page looks like when you've opened um, your page and when you've logged in with your username and password that has been sent to your email now you realize that there is a guide to this portal and you can download it i've already downloaded it um so you can also download it and have a read through uh just in case you're getting confused uh with where to go um as well it's just a two-page document that can help serve as a guide for you um now you can find all relevant funding pages on their website which we just um finished looking at now what they are telling us that documentations will be here because the page is not open yet to be open on 2nd september but you would have all the documents here and it says that um all the documents please follow the guide for applicants supervisors mentors referee available on the call page so they'll all be here if you've actually gotten the supervisor probably there might be a supervisor form that you need to sell it, send to them for them to um do um and also you can um like when the call is open you see it from the open calls here because it's not open yet we cannot see it or whatsoever now one thing to note is that it's imperative that applicants engage with the call documentation prior to completing the government of ireland eligibility quiz and the application form the council will not reset the eligibility quiz for applicants once it has been submitted you must select continue to application followed by save draft in order to complete the eligibility uh, process. So there might be an online quiz for you to do. And I don't know what the outcome of the online quiz is like. Um, I'll probably check with a few people and make like a general um, Twitter to see who actually have won it and if the person could advise. Um, but it will be great to know what's going to come before you start the pro process. So I don't think that apart from that, the, pro the process should be cumbersome. 
it should be an easy thing uh, that you're quickly going to go through because they give you all the portals in the guide but just get everything that um, they've spoken about um, pay um, the page ready um, in terms of this uh, deadlines and stuff like that so that you would be right on time I hope this video was helpful and it's actually giving you an idea of a scholarship you should apply for um, get back to me if it was helpful and if the process is open we'll see whether we can actually do something like go through the whole process so we can tell the problems that we experienced um, if you also know anyone that has won the scholarship please do get in touch with me on my social media down, down here so that we can also help host the session to help them get through the scholarship see you same time and other scholarships bye